everybody, it's your boy OG Kitch coming back at you with another edition of Kitchen Everything. Uh, today is going to be my seafood boil because that's what I wanted for my birthday dinner, but I wanted to wait till Saturday. So let me give you a quick rundown of what I'm doing over here. We have uh, orange zest, butter, orange juice, garlic, shallots, red pepper flakes, thyme, parsley, olive oil. That's going to be for my sauce. Over here we have garlic clove, a seasoned bag, a boil bag, orange, lemon, sausage, pink shrimp, potatoes. What I did was poke holes in the potato, like four holes on each side, because you want the flavor to get on the inside as well. We got some white corn that comes from Simply Produce. I'm saving some for here and some for something else. Uh, Old Bay seasoning and crab oil. We have Dungeness crab. Um, right now I'm cutting, I like to cut these. The Alaskan king crab make it easier and I'm going to pull them off at the tentacles like this. Pull the tentacle out and then I'm going to cut them. For one, they can fit in the, paint, in the pot better. And two, it'll be easier once we get them out. Those little body pieces, the little joint pieces, which I like the best. The little joint pieces, which are, you know, these pieces up here. Throw them in there. <sighs> Got some claws. Ooh, look at that bad boy right there. Got some claws. Then I'm going to cut up. Not cut up, but cut up. The lobster. It's ride or die. You know you the seafood queen. So hopefully you like this video. And this is just to make everything, you know, you don't I mean of course you gotta fight with certain things. That's why I only use certain crabs. I don't do them small blue crabs. Dungeons in Alaskan. I don't wanna have to fight to get meat. That's why you never see me do actual crawfish boil. Shit too fucking small to be fighting with for a little piece of meat. So, cut that. The shrimp, as you can see, are already peeled and deveined. I got them in some, some, uh, terrigen seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up there. Just easier to pull the meat out. So that's that. So the king crab, the dungeness crab, the lobster, the shrimp, the sausage, the corn. So just waiting for the water to get hot and we're gonna season the water first and then get, I mean, cause all of this take the longest thing is probably going to be the potatoes about 15 20 minutes corn about 15 these take six everything here just need to warm up you know your shrimp gonna go in at the end don't ru want rubber you want good nice plump juicy shrimp so catch y'all on the flip side chef like moving forever og kits the truth all right, everybody, the water's getting hot, so we're going to start seasoning the water. Lemons, drop them in there. Onions, more lemons. Orange. 
oranges. Ouch. Oranges. Garlic cloves. Drop in there. Crab oil. Not too much. Old Bay seasoning. And a boil bag. There it is. So we're going to let that marinate up in there for a minute. And then the next thing we'll do is, which I can actually do now, drop these potatoes up in there. Drop them potatoes up in there. Let them go for about 10 minutes. It was to throw the corn up in there and then just progressively just start adding everything and let it do what it do. Catch y'all on the next step. Chef like woman forever, OG Kitch, that dude. All right. Smelling good. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the corn. Cause you can't even put corn. So a lot of potatoes is in there. Go ahead and add the corn. Add the corn. Let it do we do. Hopefully everything will fit in this pot. I don't have to take nothing out. But I could take the oranges and all that stuff out after a while, after all everything gets, gets popping. I'm gonna go get in the shower while that's all happening. While it's all <clears throat> sexy, 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 sexy. And then we'll be back with the seafood. Chef Life Movement. Towards and beyond. OG Kitch, that dude, the truth. However you wanna call it. Just me. Okay, so the corn been soaking up. I took the potatoes out because I don't let my potatoes cook. If you let them cook from beginning to end in the same water, they're going to be mush. You got mashed potatoes. Not around yet. I don't do that. So the corn is in. Took the potatoes out. I'll put them back in at the end. Now we're going to put that sausage up in there. Beef sausage. Some people um, put they cook their sausage first, whatever, and to each his own. Everybody does it differently. Oils like lasagna, there's no two the same. But I spent many years up in New Orleans. And it's the only way I know how to do it, baby. Straight up. <laughs> I only know how to do it one way. And to me, that's the right way. Um, so, what I'm gonna do next is while the sausage is going before I add all of this stuff, because pretty much it's a wrap. That's the lobster tail is gonna be about seven minutes. Uh, the Dungeness and the Alaskan king crab, five minutes. The shrimp, once everything go off, just drop them back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this sauce. And I'm gonna share the sauce with everyone. No big deal. I don't think any recipe should be a secret. Um, I don't have no secret recipes. All I ask, do justice by my shit. Use my shit. Just do it the right way, and it'll be great. So I'm going to hook y'all up with a ride or die. You always with the seafood. This would be a great sauce. Lovely one, I think you do a sauce for your seafood. Whoever wanted to use it, knock yourself out. We're about to put it together. 
be back in a minute. I just got out the shower. I want to kind of cool down a little bit, let things go. Give me a minute to reflect. Be back. OG Kitch. Food porn doctor, baby. All right, so this is the sauce that I use. Butter, olive oil. Always kind of mix. I mix oil with my butter so the butter don't burn. And that's, how, that's a good way for uh, whatever you're doing. Like even when I make my pancakes, you know, I put not just butter, my French toast, whatever. I put butter in oil. It keeps everything together. It's a quick sauce. It's a two-part sauce, but I'm only using it for one thing, so we'll be good with that. Shallots, garlic, which I already smell like heaven. Oh. Pepper flakes. It all heat is how much you put in. I always put like half of what I should. Cause uh I'm gonna oven my crab. They would be in the oven right now on 500, roasting them. I would take the crabs out and pour this over the crabs and add some thyme and some parsley and put them back in the oven and let them cook and then I will take the excess and make the butter out of it but since I'm not roasting them we're going to do it like this so what we want whoa oh that would have been a disaster Orange zest, the peel from the orange. Get that around in there, which is going to add some nice flavor. Orange juice. Going to turn that up a little bit. Now what we're going to do is just let it reduce by half, let it cook down, boil until it's like half, thickens up a little bit, and that's your sauce. That's simple. Boom, bam, that's the wrap. And so that's going to be that. Look, y'all, cooking is supposed to be fun and easy, not hard. <laughs> it's really not hard. So the sausage and the corn looking good. So what I'm gonna do is start taking out some of these, like the oranges and the onions. I'm gonna start taking that stuff out and get the end result popping. So be back in a minute after I scoop all this stuff out. I'll be back on the flip side. Food porn. It's not nasty, it's not dirty, it's just deliciously good. Butter. And I'm just putting it in here. Why? Because that's going to give it some, some body. I don't know how many of y'all know from back in the day when your grandmother was making like uh, collard greens and they had that pot liquor stuff at the bottom, like the juice of the greens. Well, I put butter in here. For one, it's going to kind of like bind the sauce together. Everything is going to stick. But just like with the greens, you can actually drink this. 
I recommend this for people with sinuses and stuff like that. Be stopped up. Get some of this shit. You will be unclogged. Straight up. Think of the butter. That's done. We're going to let that sit back there and cool and it's going to start to thicken up, get more creamy, whatever the case. Boom, bam, bam. So next, that our sausage and the corn is nice and tender. The sausage is looking sexy as fuck. Let me get a glove. Put the lobster in first, because they actually have to cook. Everything else is like pretty much cooked, just need to heat up. So we're gonna get the lobster down and in for about a good five minutes. And let that do what it do. So now I'm gonna start getting my crackers. Not crackers like crackers, but seafood crackers. Invest in these. I mean, if you've been in New Orleans, crawfish boil, these are like, yeah, a part of. Like, you can't, like, this is a part of the crawfish boil. Get that. Get that in there. Get my crackers and stuff. So let me start setting up, get my, my butter bowls to melt butter down and keep that stuff hot. Catch you on the flip side. Chef Life Movement forever. OG, OG Kitch, what can you say? He OG Kitch. Okay, the lobsters are starting to turn. So now we just go ahead and drop the crabs up in there. The Dungeness goes in. Can go in. These Alaskan crabs, man. I don't know who decided to think that these are delicacies, man. These motherfuckers be. Well, fuck your hands up, man. Alright, so. Let's get that covered up and let it do what it do. We're going to let that go for about five, ten, for five, seven minutes. Turn it off and then the shrimp go in. And then we pretty much home after that. So we get over here, we'll start. We'll put this butter in one, regular clarified butter or drawn butter. Get all the... All the stuff to pick out your crab meat and scoop that out. Cause if you don't know how to eat crabs, you better invest in that shit. When I first started eating crab, my friend, like, look at all that shit you're wasting. But now, I'm like, gee, I'm gonna crab your crab sheet up. Be back in a minute, deuce. Everybody, this is the last step. I just turned the pot off. And we're gonna dump these shrimp down in there. Make sure they get all the way down in there and let them do what they do. Let the crab them up. Make sure the shrimp get down in there. We're gonna put the potatoes back in. Put the lid on. sit there for a few minutes cook them shrimp up about four or five minutes and then that's it we'll be back with the finished product OG Kitch it's a lifestyle doses Ooh. No, I ain't got no 
damn feeling in my fingertips anymore. that was in this pot butter, regular butter. Mm. There it is. A lot of hard work, but it'd be worth it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, give me a second. I'll try to taste something. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. So, and see, this is why I cut, cut them beforehand. Ooh, that's hot. Let me try this butter. Mmm, mmm. Cocktail sauce. Man, excuse me, y'all. Uh, I see I'm drooling just a tad bit over here. <clears throat> so there it is. I'm 
look hot as fuck. Mm -hmm. There it is, seafood boil, um, Dungeness crab, Alaskan king crab, lobster, corn, sausage, potatoes, shrimp. Um, about to get into it. And um, I catch y'all on the flip side. Love you all. Thanks for the support. Appreciate you. Um, Chef Life Movement Forever. OG Kitch. Food porn at its best. Deuce.